I'd like to show you what a pH titration curve looks like when a strong acid is titrated with a strong base. So the strong acid is in the flask and the base is in the burette. We're going to use 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid and 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide. So before we add any base, the pH is down here at 0.3 pH units. So each tick mark here is one pH unit up to 7 up to 14. So we start off here at a low pH of about 0.3. We have a strong acid solution. And we're going to add one mil of base. The pH has gone up a tiny bit. Add another mil of base. pH goes up a tiny bit more. and we're going to get to about the half titration point here still pH is pretty low and as we approach the equivalence point which will be at 25 mils and I know it's 25 mils and so should you if you think about what I established before that we have 25 mils of 0.5 molar acid and 25 mils of 0.5 molar base the equivalence point is when 25 mils of strong base is added to the 25 mils of strong acid. And so right at the equivalence point, which is coming up right here, we get a real drastic change in the pH. And so at this point, the pH is 7 because the strong acid has been neutralized by the strong base. And so what is left in the aqueous solution is essentially salty water. And assuming that the temperature is 25 degrees and everything's perfect, the pH would be 7. And if we continue to add sodium hydroxide, the pH then is going to skyrocket and the solution becomes a strong base solution. And as we continue to add increments of strong base, the pH doesn't change much. So in the beginning of the titration, up to the equivalence point, this is essentially a strong acid solution because we're just depleting slowly the strong acid. So the reactant that is in excess before the equivalence point is the strong acid. Then the roles flip. The reactant in excess after the equivalence point is strong base. And right at the equivalence point is when they're stoichiometrically equal moles of acid and base and in this case because it's a strong acid and a strong base the pH is 7. The key features of the curve are at the beginning of the titration up to the equivalence point strong acid solution at the equivalence point pH is 7 salty water and above the equivalence point you essentially have a strong base solution Here's a spreadsheet showing you calculations that are related to the titration curve I just showed you. At the beginning of the titration, no base is added. And the pH is based on the concentration of the strong acid, which is 0.5 molar. The pH is the negative log of the hydronium concentration. Once we begin to add strong base, we need to take into account the neutralization of some of the strong acid by the base. So here in this column we see the reduction in hydronium ions by the addition of the hydroxide and the calculation of the hydronium concentration is based on the total volume. This is very important. Notice in this cell Look at it two ways, but notice in the cell we have 25, which is the volume of strong acid that was in the flask, plus the volume of sodium hydroxide added. You need to take this dilution into account, meaning the addition of the sodium hydroxide. So the total volume is 26 mils. And by the multiplication of 1,000, we're converting this effectively to liters. So this is a simple moles over a liter calculation molarity. And then our pH, of course, is negative log of this value. 
the calculations in all of these subsequent cells are identical. It takes into account the, the dilution factor or the addition of the sodium hydroxide. So we're adding whatever that amount is to the 25 mils of the original volume of acid. So we have a strong acid solution up to the equivalence point. Subsequent to the equivalence point, we have a strong base solution where there is an excess of hydroxide. And I calculated the moles of hydroxide remaining by taking the difference between the total moles of hydroxide added and the amount of moles of strong base that were in the solution originally. Calculating then the hydroxide concentration by taking into account the total volume, which is the 25 mils originally in the acid solution plus whatever volume of sodium hydroxide, in this case 26 at this particular point. And then at this point, calculating the pH by using uh, 14 equals pH plus pOH, just modifying that equation a little bit and seeing that the pH is just under 12. And this is carried out up until 50 mils, exact same calculations.